This morning, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo and other health officials just gave an update on the county's response to monkeypox. Harris County and Houston now reporting a total of 125 cases. Brittany Jeffers live with more on what the county judge is asking for. Yes, and uh, Judge Hidalgo says that we are not at a point right now where she's going to declare this a public health emergency, but she did stress that the county is trying to stay ahead of this. She says at this point in time, we're dealing with a supply problem, and she stressed the fact that we need more vaccinations coming from the federal government. Now, as we reported, those vaccinations were allocated by the federal government last week, but according to Judge Hidalgo, they have not yet arrived. The judge added that when they do, there won't be enough to get ahead of the virus given Houston's uh, population. Now, by the numbers, Judge Hidalgo did give an update saying there's currently 125 confirmed cases in Harris County. She says since the hotline opened last week, the county has received 4,200 calls. Now, Judge Hidalgo also announced plans today to ask Commissioner's Court for additional funding for Harris County Public Health. This is to the tune of $2 million. She says that if this is approved, the funds would go towards staffing, supplies, and tools to be used for potential contracts tracing. Now, again, the judge said it isn't to the point where it's going to be declared a public health emergency, but she and other health officials stress that vaccines are important for those who need it and that the public should be mindful about personal decisions as we wait for those additional vaccines to arrive. The 17,000 vaccines were allocated after last week's request. They've not arrived yet. And when they do, they're not enough. So there's no indication that the general population needs to be vaccinated. Um, the spread of this, this virus is very specific in that it is direct contact. And so to my point earlier about being conscious about the decisions that we're currently making to help to mitigate the spread as well is extremely important. As again, the spread is direct contact. And so the general population at large, uh, unlike COVID where the spread was in the air, it, it doesn't work that way. So if we're looking at the numbers on a statewide basis, we did just check uh, according to the CDC on the website showing there's currently 397 cases here in Texas. Reporting live in downtown Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC 2 News. Brittany, thank you.